photographs posted on Facebook have given us the first good look at Arizona Congresswoman Gabrielle Giffords since she was shot five months ago. And now Bill Whitaker tells us we're also getting a clearer picture of the progress she's making in her recovery. It's incredible to think, but this is a picture of a woman shot in the head at point-blank range. Her face showing little obvious sign of the January attack, just a smile. She looks like the old Gabby. I love the short hair. She, she looks energized and engaged and ready to take on the world. Pick up the Susan screen. Heilman was shot three times trying to shield nine-year-old Christina Taylor Green. Christina was one of the six killed that day. I love Gabby. Just today, Heilman's doctor told her she's making excellent progress. After five months in rehab, she has some understanding of what Giffords is facing. I haven't talked to anybody who's been through rehab who hasn't used the word hard, hasn't used the word hurt, and it's hard and it hurts. Gifford's family, her staff and doctors have remained tight-lipped about her prognosis, and until now, Giffords has stayed far from the public eye. Cameras caught a distant glimpse of her as she went to Florida for her husband Mark Kelly's final shuttle launch. But in an interview with the Arizona Republic, the Congresswoman's chief of staff, Pia Caruson, gave a blunt assessment. She's living, she's alive, but if she were to plateau today, it would not be nearly the quality of life she had before. When it comes to a bigger and more complex thought that requires words, that's where she's had the trouble. But just yesterday, Gifford's good friend, Congresswoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz, painted a very different picture. She spoke to me in, in full sentences, initiated those sentences instead of just responding, which is what she'd re really only been able to do recently, and she's making remarkable progress. But those recovering with Giffords marvel at how far she has come and understand how far she has to go. Gabby has a long, hard road ahead, but look at that smile. She'll be back. Giffords and her husband released these photos, Scott, in hopes of stopping paparazzi from hounding her for pictures when she begins outpatient therapy in Houston next month. Thank you, Bill.